that's gonna be a short uh, setup for the external battery because I already have it mounted. <coughs> I just replaced the main battery. And by replacing the main battery, by mistake, I broke the XT90 connector. So I needed a new harness from here that go inside the main battery. And what happened is my main battery, let me show you. I already opened it, so let me explain to you. First of all, you need to take the steering damper if you have one off. Take the deck cover off. So my main battery was faulty. The BMS was bad. So Alien Ride, shout out to Kevin, under warranty, they replaced my battery. So they sent me a new battery. But when I was trying to plug it back in, by mistake, I broke the connector. You see, it's called XT90. So this connector got broken. So I couldn't put it back in and actually operate two batteries. I can only operate the, the external one or the main one. And the whole point is to run both of them. So Kevin sent me a new harness. You see, this is the new harness. And it's actually better than the old one. So I'm happy it ripped because I was one of the first one to, to get the external battery. So it came with exposed, not exposed, but with no wrap on the, the wire, black and red. That actually go from here all the way up over here to the connector of the external battery that is this one. So I put a cover on it. So now they send me a new harness and it's a modified harness. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take now the old harness back off. I'll show you how we, I actually run the wire from the deck. So you can see it and put the new harness that it's much better. It's covered and it's simple. One to the battery, one to the connector, one to the external battery. All right, so I already took everything off pretty much. So now we're going to take the old wire off. So to take the old wire off, I need to take this cover off of the blinker lights. And there's two screws, one over here and one over here. So you have to take the, those off. You see, one over here and one over here. I basically ran the wire from here. See, what you do... I just want to show you, so I'm put the camera on. You see over here, once you take this cover off, I don't need to take it off right now, but once you take it off, there's a wall over here, this. So I just drill a hole over here, an open half moon hole. And then I'm going to show you with the new harness, just run the wire from here to this hole. So you see, this is the old harness. Thank you. Okay, so that's the old harness. Take this shit off. So that's the old harness. See the difference? Okay, so you see over here. You, you can take the whole cover off. I don't need to take it right now, but once you take the whole cover off, you see there's a groove over here that's already existing on the original cover. So you put it under this side on the groove and to the new hole that I, I, I put over here. This hole that I did. Very easy, you use a drill, you make a small hole and then it goes like this, see? Once it's in, it's in. So now you just close it back. I already lost one screw. So before I even mount everything, I want to make sure of the link. It's going to go like this, like this. So I don't need more, so I can push a little bit more. So now you put those screws back in. To close the blinker cover. Okay, so you see, this is the controller and this is the battery. Now you have two connectors one I hidden over here, one I felt over here, 
and you have two controller connector. You only need one and one with the battery. It should be a spark when you plug it. So that, that means there's power. Okay, so just so you guys know, the harness comes with one that go to the controller, one go to the battery, and then the second plug from the main battery need to be plugged to the controller too. Otherwise, you're only going to have one motor, only the rear motor. So basically, one to the front controller motor, to the back controller motor, from the controller to the main battery, that's going to give you the front motor, and one to the main battery. So basically, you need only one cable to the main battery, but the second cable from the battery, the main one, need to go to one of the plug on the controller. And then, the second... Uh, from the controller, the second plug from the controller go to one of the plug on the ha new harness. So you see now both of them will work because when I just put it, only one motor work. As soon as I put the second one to the main battery, the second motor start working again. See? Okay. So you do need to plug the two cable from the battery. One go to the controller, one go to the main new main new harness for the external battery, and one controller go to the new harness from the external battery. So you got three connections. One controller, second controller, and main battery. Now those two one go to the charger ports. And now we need to find a way to hide everything nice and tidy. So yeah, you don't have to do it, but I'm just putting back some cover on it to make it nice and tidy. Leave room for the charging ports. And we'll see. So before you close it, make sure you put, you plug the charging port again. And now you close the deck back. You do have to push it a little bit to give it some pressure, but it's all good. I miss in one score. So yeah, that's the steering damper, guys, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But if you do, this is where the screw goes. Okay, make sure everything is tight, not too tight, so you're not going to break it. Okay, so that's done. Now, you have to find a way to route it to the external battery. And you're good to go. Yeah, that's why I put the zip tie over here. To hold it nice and then you pull it here and you're all set see where it's coming from from here all right guys i'll show you some now what you do need to know when you get a new battery you need to make sure to balance the external battery with the main battery so for example my main battery now is at 65.3 and the external is it 63.8 so what you want to do before you connect it you want to drain the main battery to 63.9 63.8 to match the external once they match same voltage then you connect both of them and then you charge the scooter to full and the two batteries balance because they run parallel so any voltage you lose over here it's the same voltage you lose on the main so I put it on the stand and I'm going to run it a little bit because I don't feel like going out riding. And once it matches, I'll show you. All right. So, like I said, we're not going to connect it yet because I need to drain the main battery. It's on 65. I need to take it to 63.8 to match the voltage over here. Okay. So you see, this is 63.6. I hope you can see it. And I drain it to the point that it's 63.6 on the display as well. So now, the balance and parallel, so we can charge it. All right, this is the external battery. You see how I routed the cable from here? I just put a zip tie on the steering damper on the bracket and run it up. And now I'm gonna plug it over here and you're gonna hear a, a popping sound, but, I'm not, but you're gonna have a popping sound, but I'm not gonna do it now, I'm gonna let the engine cool down a little bit you don't want to charge it when it's hot all right guys 
that's it i hope it helps a little bit just so you can see how simple it is all right guys if you have any question and you want picture or close up put in the comment more than happy to do it esd peace out yeah